Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time. Connect to anyone that you may be connecting to and see what spirit has to say for you. If you are a cross watcher here for Sagittarius, remember flip switch the roles. Energies do not force any messages. So it's been brought to my attention that people are contacting my subscribers for personal readings. I will never contact you, just so you know. If you are interested in personal readings, you would have to connect with me through the email that I provide. So please do not get scammed. So I do see that you are connecting to, with someone that is detached at this time. Possibly you are embarking upon a new journey in regards to dating. Um, there's a connection that you are moving away from. And um, the outcome, this person that you've walked away from is having feelings about you releasing them is what I feel. Bottom of the deck, energy completely done in the reverse. So someone is clinging to a connection where there is no, um, there is no um, investment at this time, certainly not from both parties. So I do feel one is in expectation and the other is withdrawn is what I'm picking up at the bottom of the deck. But I wanted to clarify this with tarot now. So guardian angels, archangel spirit guides, please give me a clear message for Sagittarius. I'm going to tap into the energy of this person that's connecting to you. I want to see what's, what their story is and what you need to know. So spirit, please show me the energy of the person that's energetically connecting to Sagittarius at this time. Please clarify this message. person connecting to Sagittarius. So we've got eight of pentacles coming out in the reverse, which is Virgo energy, clarifying, observing in the reverse, being watched, social media, stalking, keeping an eye on you and obsessed with you in the reverse. And then eight of pentacles in the reverse. So there's an energy of disconnection. So a person that's energetically connecting to you in some capacity has taken back their uh, investment, has taken back their energy at this time. They're no longer giving to you specifically. They are they have turned their back on um, investing any more into you. But I do feel that they were very interested for a long period of time with Eight of Pentacles to this being watched, social media stalking. I do feel this person that's energetically connecting to you, Sagittarius, was very focused on you for a very long time, possibly stalked you through social media, definitely was trying to get your attention is what I feel. Um, but now they're moving away from that and I will dive deeper into the energy to see what the story is. The hermit in the reverse can indicate that there is not a likelihood of uh, reconciliation but the cycle is not closed yet either. And that's validating kind of end of uh, bottom of the deck energy with completely done in the reverse. So I do feel this person is very interested in you because of your lack of reciprocation. They are feeling like they have to withdraw their energy at this time. But they do have a lot of love for you. Queen of Cups energy to the Hermit in the reverse. They feel like you're dealing with other things at this time that you're preoccupied. You don't have the energy to give them at this time. So they are giving space. Probably trying to replace their thoughts of you with other things is what I feel. But this person that's energetically connecting to you in love... Um, I'd said love it could be in any capacity, but they are showing up as having love for you. So I didn't know that initially, but they are showing up with queen of cups energy. So very open to giving and receiving love in context to their connection with you. But they do see that you are preoccupied at this time with the hermit Virgo energy, queen of cups energy that is cancer. So they're not investing in you at this time. All right. Show me Sagittarius's energy towards this person because you're showing up as a very flirty energy at this time. Seeing someone, um, I'm not going to go too far into this. I want to see what spirit's going to come up with in tarot so I can see clearer what's going on. So you felt very unhappy in this connection. You felt betrayed by this person. So this person <laughs> is showing up as if 
everything is tickety-boo. They feel that you're distracted with other things, but they have love for you and they're just giving you some space at this time. That's kind of what I was feeling, but they're not done. And then you're coming out as moving away. You're no longer investing in them. You are considering others in regards to connection, in regards to dating. This person that you are connecting or is connecting to you, who's clinging to you, deceived you, Ten of Swords energy, left you for dead, betrayed you, right? Betrayed your trust, betrayed your loyalty. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, Four of Cups made you feel like an option, this person was was um, giving love outside of the connection, had secrets, right? And, and was very, um, in their disloyalty, was very manipulative and had a lot of secrets and, and you were unhappy. So that's what you're showing me in regards to this person, Sagittarius, that's no longer putting investment, but is still watching you, still energetically connected to you. This person betrayed you in regards to uh, matters of the heart. So now you're moving forward. Now this dating could be them, right? Dating sites, hooking up, seeing someone, one night stands. This person that's connecting to you is possibly having relations outside of the connection through um, dating sites, hooking up with other people, betrayed you. This person that's showing up, you're showing me this person really hurt you, hurt you to the point that they left you for dead. We're not one bit concerned with how they made you feel. So I'm definitely getting a very different energy from um, your perspective, Sagittarius. So the shared energy is faith in the reverse. There is no faith. So in regards to the shared energy between you and this person is heartbreak, betrayal, third party energy, Libra energy here, right? This is validating your energy, Sagittarius. This person broke your heart, okay? This person stabbed you in the back. This person betrayed you, betrayed your loyalty, your trust, cheated on you in regards to matters of the heart, and juggled you, two of pentacles, right? Put you in a situation where you needed to make a choice, Sagittarius, to release this toxic person, this toxic connection. And I do feel that you did with the ending coming up with the world here. So you are showing me that this person that's energetically connecting to you, Sagittarius, betrayed you, broke your heart, put you in third parties. You walked away from this person because you recognized that you weren't happy. You realized the level of disrespect and disloyalty from this person who was juggling you. You saw how toxic this connection truly was and you ended it. So what is the outcome here for Sagittarius in regards to this connection spirit? So gossip is coming out as the um, as the outcome between you and this person, spreading rumors, petty, petty conversations, smearing your image and making you the fool. This person has been spreading shit about you, possibly because you've detached, that you've moved away from them, possibly because they're not wanting to truly take accountability for how they treated you within this connection, Sagittarius. They treat they were a player and they put you in a position where you had no choice but to move away from them because they did treat you so poorly. Knight of Wands is your energy, Sagittarius. But it's also when the Knight of Wands comes out in the reverse, it's showing me the energy of this person, which is definitely validating gossiping, spreading rumors. This person is looking to destroy your credibility. This person does not want to accept the responsibility of the way that they interacted and treated you within this situation, this uh, connection. So they are they are trying to make you look as bad as they feel because deep down they know what they did, but they will never ever be truly accountable is what I feel here. Bottom of the deck energy king of pentacles so the outcome so i'm gonna ask spirit for some advice moving forward in regards to this situation what advice do you have for sagittarius moving forward in regards to this situation so a new beginning right taking a leap of faith in a new direction ace of wands can be about new passion right possibly you are in a, in a uh you're interested in dating now and looking to find someone that you have attraction to and love towards you know you're looking to take a new take a new leap of faith and you want to feel passion again. You want to feel excitement. You want to feel love again. Queen of Cups energy. That's why my dog is growling. <laughs> um, but so that's the advice Spirit is giving you, Sagittarius. Move towards new love with your heart open. And you will be able to give and receive love in the way that you deserve. And you are going to have passion for this new person. So Sagittarius, if you're interested, I'm going to provide an extended. I'm going to see what the future intentions are of this past person. And then I am going to dive a little deeper into this new potential love, this Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups. 
If this is where we leave, thank you so much for watching the video up to this point. Please like, subscribe on TikTok, YouTube. And if you're interested, check out the extended through the link. Thank you so much. Bye.